See, well, Chef Dan from the season chef has been cooking away all morning long. And if there's one thing chef is good at besides cooking, it's teaching how to cook. Chef Dan, welcome to me casa. Good to see you again, Gloria. It's good to see you. I told you we would eventually get you back here into the kitchen, right? And it's happening. Yep. And here we are. <laughs> all and right. We're in your kitchen. Yes, so, this is go. true. Okay, chef, can anyone learn to cook? Anyone can be a good cook. Okay, yes. and one of the ways to do that is by taking a cooking class. You do a basic skills cooking class. Tell me about it and why it's one of the popular ones. Okay, well we've been teaching that, I've been teaching that class for 22 years. Okay. Cooking is techniques. Yeah. Recipes use techniques. People think recipes teach and it's the other way around. You use a recipe oh. after you understand the technique. Okay. So I always tell like teenagers, say, shoot a basketball a hundred times uh -huh. standing there until you play a game. True. Okay. okay. And so you got to you got to learn it, then you got to practice it, and then you can own it. Got um, it. And it starts with learning the techniques. Okay. And then you can start cooking without a recipe. There you go, and you yeah. and you own it. It's confidence in the kitchen. Okay. Yes. What have you brought today? Because we're all melting over the okay. beautiful smells. Well, this is all stuff from our basic skills class. We'll start with dessert first, because you know life's short. Yeah. So this is apple <laughs> yes. crostata, but the biggest thing about that is we want to teach people how to make a flaky pastry, mm -hmm. which is the way we make pie crust, tart crust, quiche crust, biscuits and scones, uh -huh. all examples. So we use one recipe to teach the idea of a flaky pastry. Okay. We've got some blanched and reheated broccoli, so Ooh. blanching technique. Yeah. We've got rice peel off, which teaches you basics of cooking grain. That's, okay. you'd be surprised and how many people okay, are, are bad at cooking rice. Oh yeah, and it's all because they stir it and don't stir it. <laughs> okay. Like, what do you mean don't stir? Don't stir. Oh, Just leave it no. alone, let it cook. Okay. We have a small roast. This mm -hmm. is a medium rare triangle tip with a nice mushroom sauce, again from basic. Um, sliced up and ready to go and we teach how to make the sauce as well and then um, probably what we consider one of the most important things is how to saute which is today we have some salmon and the, the reason I have these two different pieces is this thicker piece took longer to cook than this thinner piece. Whoa, the recipe okay. can't tell you that. Right. It just can't. It says cook it for about this long yeah. and they don't know how thick yours is so cooking times are based on thickness and if you understand the technique then you don't have to try to read the how many minutes part in the recipe. Uh, that you makes sense. You know how to cook. And yeah. this is how to saute anything. That could be chicken, lamb, beef, fish, pork, seafood, even venison. Any thin tender protein can be cooked to a saute technique. I think it's hands-on experience that's gonna get you cooking the way you want. So all of these things that you've brought today are in the basic skills class. Day one of basic day skills, one. which is okay. a two-day class. Okay. Which we're featuring coming up on May 11th and May 18th. So Got it's it. a two-day class and gives people a week to practice a little bit in between, okay. which we find very important. Well, forget the cooking. I just want to come eat it. Yeah, I don't blame <laughs> you either. Is that okay? It smells so good. Okay, what have you brought? Because I know you okay. were trying to tell me how to whisk well, it up. We're going to use making a vinaigrette to help people understand what we mean by using a technique. Okay. okay. So a vinaigrette, quite simply, in an emulsifying vinaigrette, we've got some flavor. Mm. So this is some oregano. Okay. We've got some salt. We've got some pepper. Okay. Okay. And you're going to hold the whisk and tell, do exactly what I tell you. Okay. Um, first of all, we're going to have part of the flavor, which is our emulsifier. In this case, a classic Dijon mustard. We're going to put about... Oh, a scant tablespoon in there. Uh huh. And then three times as much vinegar. I'm using a sherry vinegar today. It's a little softer. Yum. Okay. And we're going to put in three times as much vinegar. Got mustard, it. Without measuring. Because without measuring. You know. So you don't use any recipes anymore, do you? <sighs> Not at home. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you're going to start whisking that up. You're going to hold that okay. whisk like a pen. Like and a you're pen. Just go back and forth. Back like that? Yep. And you're going to keep the bowl flat. Okay. Or at least towards the camera. Okay. There you so go. And you're now a whip TV faster, person. And too. the whole check is whip fast, add slow. Okay. Just remember that. Whip fast, add slow. So whip fast and slowly add the oil. Mm hmm. And this is emulsification. What this is going to do is going to hold the oil and vinegar together so your dressing doesn't separate. Got now you think, it. Okay, yeah. big deal. Whatever, right? Uh huh. And you're just going to keep whisking okay. until it tastes good. <laughs> So that is just up to the cook. A little faster, yeah, oh, it oh. is. Because if you like more vinegar, add more vinegar. If you like more salt, add more salt. Okay. All the flavors are subjective. The technique is objective. It's okay. time honored. See, it's I, coming together. Coming that together. is a Beautiful. hand workout for sure. You can whip sure. a little faster. Uh, I don't think I Wouldn't can. Wouldn't bother me. <laughs> now, 
Here's the other thing, too. No you can do this in a stand mixer. <laughs> you can do this in a food processor. Okay. Okay. You can do it with electric beaters, but that's adding technology to a technique that's been around since before electricity. Okay. So you can always add technology to technique. Now we're going to put just a little bit more in. Okay, go for it. Whisk that in, and All that right. dressing will stay emulsified. In other words, it won't separate for three days. Love so it. You'll so this will last. it before you, and then all you got to do oh. is taste it. All right, I'm like going to taste that. If it's a little vinegary, we'll just add a little more oil. Oh, it's perfect. Never mind that. Woohoo! That you're ready is to eat, a triumph. Oh. Toss it on the salad. Now, okay. this is how this works. Oh. We all know. There's all kinds of vinegars in the store. Okay. There's all kinds of oils in the store. Yes. There's all kinds of herbs. Okay. There's all kinds of seasonings. The vinegar could even be citrus juice, lemon or lime juice, etc. Okay. Then emulsifiers can be anything from mustard to peanut butter or nut yeah. butters to fruit purees to vegetable purees. Okay. So now if there's any math majors out there who like to say it's this many oils times this many vinegars times this many seasonings times this many emulsifiers. And the answer is okay. a whole lot, over a thousand different recipes, Okay. one technique. One technique, That's and that is why works. we're going to take your cooking, right. your skills cooking class. All right, everyone, we'll learn how to cook like the pros, like the chef at the Seasoned Chef Cooking School. See a list of upcoming classes and reserve your spot at thesesonedchef.com. Use the promo code CHANNEL9 when you book.